Hey everyone, so we are here together again and we were discussing about liquid crystals in our previous section. So in any debate concerning the structures of liquid crystal phases that are formed by the rod-like molecules, a point is often reached where arguments center on which structural features actually define the liquid crystalline state. For example, when a conventional solid melts to a liquid, then the strongly organized molecular array of the solid collapses to yield a disordered liquid where the molecules tumble, they translate and even rotate freely, thereby undergoing rapid simultaneous changes in rotational, positional and orientational order. First discovered in 1888, However, when liquid crystalline state mediates the melting process, a stepwise breakdown occurs, producing a variety of thermodynamically stable intermediary states between the solid and the liquid that you can see in the figure as well. This collection of structurally unique phases essentially constitutes the thermotropic liquid crystal mesomorphic state. So far, we have learned about the pneumatic liquid crystals and which is actually a categorization of the classification of liquid crystals into thermotropic and lyotropic liquid crystals, wherein we studied that the thermotropic liquid crystal exhibit various liquid crystalline phases as a function of temperature, namely the pneumatic liquid crystals, cholesteric liquid crystals, smectic liquid crystals. So far, we learned about pneumatic liquid crystals that is characterized by the molecules with no positional order, but tend to point along the director. Today, we shall learn about smectic liquid crystals in detail. Now, the word smectic is actually derived from the Greek word that means soap-like, just because they are slippery. Molecules in this phase show a degree of translational order that is actually not found in the pneumatic liquid crystals that we discussed in our previous relative video. The demarcation point of smectic liquid crystal is the presence of layers or let's say planes here, the molecules are arranged in equidistant planes. Thus, we can say that the smectic liquid crystals possess some amount of positional order since the molecules remain in their respective layers. Also, it possesses orientational order just because the molecules remain aligned in their direction. These layers can actually slide over one another due to which the smectic liquid crystals are said to possess soap-like touch. Now, depending on the molecular arrangements within the layer and the extent of interlayer correlations, the smectic mesophases are further classified into three different types, which can be named as number one, smectic a liquid crystal now what is smectic a liquid crystal let's see in smectic a liquid crystal actually what happens the director lies along the layer at an angle of 90 degree the molecular packing within the layers and hence the long range positional correlation cannot be strictly made here so, in short, we can say that smectic A liquid crystals are those liquid crystals in which they, the molecules, they arrange themselves in different layers or the planes. And this, this was a feature of smectic liquid crystal. Smectic A liquid crystal actually possesses the molecules arranged in the layers, but at an angle of 90 degree to the plane in which they are arranged. So this is smectic A liquid crystal, right? Smectic B liquid crystal as another type of liquid crystal. 
What happens basically in smectic B liquid crystals? Yes, of course, the molecules here also are arranged in layers or planes. Why? Because that's the basic feature of smectic liquid crystals. But actually, where is the difference? Where does the difference lies? The difference here lies in the angle at which the molecules arrange themselves in these layers. As we can see from the figure also on the left hand side, the molecules, they are tilted a bit right so what happens basically here the molecules they arrange themselves in these layers or planes but now they are not at an angle of 90 degree to the plane of in which they are arranged but however they are tilted a bit to a certain angle with respect to the plane in which they are arranged this is smectic b type of liquid crystal the third categorization, which is actually uh, out of these three, out of all the major categorization of smectic liquid crystal is the smectic C liquid crystal. Now, this is a very interesting phase, actually. Why? Because here what happens, yes, of course, again, the molecules are arranged in different layers. But here, what do they do? They form a, a group of six. So six molecules actually arrange themselves amongst each other in the form of a regular hexagon. As you can see over here, this is the regular hexagon that is being drawn for you for your convenience as a dotted line. So the molecules, they arrange themselves in the form of regular hexagon. So a group of six molecules are there. And likewise, we have different molecules in all the uh, hexagons which are arranged in different layers. OK, so this was mectic C type of liquid crystal. That is all crisp about the smectic liquid crystals. So let's try to summarize as to what we had learned today in smectic liquid crystals. So the substances that form smectic mesophase are actually soap-like. There is a small amount of orientational order and as well as a small amount of positional order that the smectic liquid crystals possess. The next point that we gathered from here was that the molecules, they form planes which are perpendicular to the axis of molecules and they tend to point along the director. The next point was there are many types of uh, spectic phases based on the orientation of the director and out of those many, we discussed the three types of smectic liquid crystals, smectic A, smectic B and smectic C liquid crystals. I hope you gathered a lot from this video. Thank you and keep in touch.